Hey guys, it's Altaka here. Well, it's been like 5 years since the last computer update video, so yeah. Since I got nothing to do, I decided to make this video. So I decided to do computer updates as of May 2025 or June 2025. I don't know when this video is going to be up, but we're going to do May anyway. So as I'm recording this video, today is May 25th, 2025. Before I get to my laptop as well as the rest of the machines I owned, let's start off with my setup. And I don't want to yap too much about my setup here. So let's get started with some things I've changed to my setup and that is the LED strip that I have and it can be controlled with with this remote control I can simply change the color to whatever I want but I want to set to pink because the wallpaper I have right now is too cute and I just want to have it to match my setup but it ended up being purple there's a valid reason why it ended up being purple because the LED strip is crap it was a cheaper LED strip that I found somewhere on the DIY shop nearby and even when I set to the yellow one it ended up being green so I'm gonna leave that green for the rest of the video and yeah that's cheap LED strip for you plus there are some decorations I've added to my setup and that is the Chan Yui Shrine <laughs> yeah seriously but I don't wanna yap too much about where do I get these I'm probably gonna do that on my desk setup video which should be coming soon if I if I ever get a new desk or uh, if there's any significant updates done to it but anyway here's another one that I that I've added and that is the phone stand many of you might be noticed that my headphones are absent well that is because my headphones broke so let me tell you the story on how it broke I use my headphones like normal and I noticed that there are some signs of failure on both of the sides and I had to tape it all up and it definitely looks ugly but it should hold up fine until the right channel just straight up not work correctly so I try to put the headphones until the right channel is usable again it's a temporary fix until it decided to give up the ghost so I already threw away the headphones because it's time for me to upgrade but in the meantime, I had to temporarily use these IEMs like this KZ ZSTX. I use this earbuds for my phone most of the time when I listen to song or uh, play Project Sekai because wired audio is better than wireless. <laughs> but unfortunately, I had to like share this earbuds with my laptop as well as my phone here, the daily driver here. I haven't done a review of that, but I could do a long term review of this soon enough so stay tuned the first computer update i've done is my laptop i've done not much really what i did to this laptop is replace the laptop with a ptm 7950 upgrade the ram to 32 gigs of ram and dish the internal speakers people would say wait why you could have replaced it well both of the speakers gone bad <laughs> Yep, the speaker of my Legion is already gone bad. Yeah, I'm not joking. The speakers are already gone bad and it ended up sounding funny and sounds like something farting or something. This could be the reason why I ditched the internal speakers entirely and I had to rely on the wired audio as well as my monitor's speaker. When I mentioned I upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM, people will say, Oh, you have six, you still have 60 gigs of RAM. Well, I'm not kidding. Wow. I did upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM. And it's DDR4 3200CL22. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up CPU-Z and show you guys what I mean here. So I'm gonna head to memory here and yep 32 gigs of ram and it's cl22 so so yeah it's a second hand 16 gig sk hynix ram and the slot 2 also second hand sk hynix 16 gig ram part number are exactly the same on both of these but the serial number were different on both of these so that means i got a pair of 16 gigs of ddr4 3200s it's a second hand ddr4 ram but it was just fine because I can't afford the HyperX RAM, my god. But hey, at least upgrading to 32 gigs of RAM is definitely worth it. But yeah, I do edit this video as well as the M750Q video on this and it was pretty much Gucci. So yeah, that's about it for my main laptop update. So, and now onto the next computer. Zoop! <laughs> yeah, I had to move my 
phone stand out of the way, which is right there, because I want to talk about the M750Q a little bit. On a prior video, I did install three parts for this machine to make it look complete. So let me talk about what I did on the outside first. I did install the small... WHY IS HE SO SMALL?! Wi-Fi antenna here, which looks cute. <laughs> but it should definitely help with the Wi-Fi range. And another thing that I did here is adding the screw mounts for this machine. So if I can open it with my one hand, and I can. And yup, the jank is missing, which is now replaced with these screws. And these are meant for the M700 to M900 series of desktop machines, but it can fit the drive caddy on the M715Q as well. The media drive is not going anywhere, so I'm gonna move the drive out of the way first. Check this out, we have the correct adapter for it, so yay. No more jank. But yeah, I have not done much to this machine though, except I do not have a media center setup as of yet. But yeah, the M715Q is gonna stay on my desk setup for now until I can get a proper media center setup in my room. So yeah, that's about it for the M715Q, second gen. And now onto the next machine. And now for the update on my ThinkPad T490S. So basically, I have not used much ever since I'm not employed yet. But, I will use this machine after I get employed. But unfortunately, the first job that I went through rejected me. What? Which makes me feel sad and feeling in despair. Have you guys ever felt of that? I know you guys felt the same, same experience as mine as well. But that besides the point. The point is about the comment sessions that I'm starting to face on the T490S video. So I did upload this ThinkPad T490S video about 4 weeks ago. Almost a month now. And it has been reaching like... Almost 10k, which is crazy. I guess the algorithm has been doing the job. But what really annoys me is the comment section. I mean, look at this. There are one, two, three, and there are a fair share of Linux bricks on the comment section for seeing Windows 11 LT Enterprise LTSC running on my T490S. And, and this recent comment from this guy saying that I should install Arch on that ThinkPad. And hate to say, I'm rejecting that offer because... This ThinkPad is still running Windows. And I'm not gonna get rid of it anytime soon. Aww. Yeah, you Linux people out here decided to cry about it in the comment section. And yeah, I did mention that I will dual boot Windows with Linux on this ThinkPad once I took out the one terabyte drive the one terabyte Qxia drive from my Legion, take it out and put it on my ThinkPad. But yeah, when you suggest me Arch Linux on it, you're basically suggesting the, the game that you've never been played before. I'm tired of Linux people in the comment section of my ThinkPad T490S video, basically. <laughs> yeah, no lie, I like Linux and I have tried Linux before. My first distro is Ubuntu and I did try Manjaro and I did try Debian, which is currently running on my by a half top that I tried to set up as a NAS server, but I struggled to get remote desktop working. But that's Linux for you. I do not have an advanced knowledge of Linux, but suggesting me Arch is just basically a massive crime for me in my opinion. And let me tell you why. Reason number one being, Arch is meant for advanced users and they're not very beginner friendly. But despite I have Linux experience, I do not have advanced Linux knowledge. And second of all, it was a pain in the butt to install Arch. Whoever suggested me to install Arch on this? No. no. I rejected that offer, unfortunately. This thing is gonna stay in Windows no matter what. As Ionic1k once said, So basically, if you're a dumbass, don't use Arch. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know what's happening with my voice, but... <laughs> Okay, but yeah, I already mentioned in the prior T490S video that I'm going to dual boot Windows with Linux once I put a 1TB drive on it, and unfortunately, it's not gonna be Arch, so... Stay mad, Arch Bricks. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of me yapping about the Linux Bricks in the comment section of my T490S video, so yeah. But yeah, I will someday make a video about why I'm not moving to Linux on my main machine. I will work on the script for that, so... Stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's enough of the T490S. Not, not much updates here besides the comment section. <laughs> but yeah, and I think that's about it for the ThinkPad. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The updates for the big speaker. And I have done nothing much for the big speaker, but... Unfortunately, it might be 
the end for the big speaker. And people will say, Oh no, what are you going to do to the big speaker? But yeah, roll the footage on what I did to the big speaker. All of this platform has got to go. Yeah, that's enough of the footage because yeah you probably don't want to feel too sad about it and there's a valid reason why i had to gut out the big speaker one is because the platform is too old second of all this thing is in due for a platform upgrade and unfortunately because i rarely use the big speaker upgrading to a new platform is gonna be in another time because i have the new home theater pc over here that I'm gonna be using for media consumptions and things like that. It's the first M4 machine that I've owned. So you might be thinking to yourself, what am I gonna do with these parts for the beat speaker? I decided to sell most of it, including the CPU, motherboard, the RAM, the USB card, and the cooler itself. I decided to list all of them separately. The only big speaker parts that I'm gonna be keeping is the GPU, the power supply, as well as the case. The source drive, I'm gonna be keeping as well because it does have my stuff on it, so... Yeah. But in the meantime, these parts are gonna be sitting in the middle room for... God knows how long until... Until the buyer decided to buy one of my parts, so... I just wanna say goodbye to the old platform for the big speaker. Because there's no bottom board on the big speaker, the case is basically a bare shell. And it's only here to support the power strip that is semi-broken. <laughs> That is because of the switch being broken. <laughs> but otherwise, works just fine. And now, the big speaker has reached to its end of era for the first iteration. But eventually, I will rebuild that with a new platform soon enough, so stay tuned for that. But as for the rest of the machine, the bio half top has not seen significant changes though besides the missing touchpad. <laughs> Yeah, I need to move these out of the way, or otherwise I would knock the caps out. The machines inside the box has no updates to it. And let me talk about my half top here, and the motherboard still works, but even replacing the CPU and GPU with the PTM7950, the power cut issue still happens. So yeah, I guess this guy has been replaced with the M715Q. So that's gonna be a wrap up for computer updates as of May or June 2025. I don't know what to title this video. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on new content just like this one. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, go check out Kofi and Patreon at the links down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. The Teotaku, signing out. Peace.